And this is Aubrey S. from Brownsville Games, and we are going to do a game show walkthrough of a, of a game show that really I never actually seen as a child. Um, yeah, I, I really haven't seen much episodes of this show, but it looks pretty interesting because it combines a few elements of game shows that already exist in a way that just comes off super cheesy, but I kind of like the theme song. So if you're into, let's say, Match Game, I think you will appreciate this game show that I have on my, de on my laptop that I will play for all of you, and that will be All-Star Blitz. I think um, the guy that did Hollywood Squares uh, was basically the dude that uh, hosted the show. So let's run the app. Alright, so I'm gonna put myself. And I'm going to attempt to do a five time run on this program to see if it works. Uh, we'll find out to see if it works. So let's start a new game. And if you haven't seen this game before, I've played it enough to tell you the rules. Right? So you have those six screens. And I gotta win two matches in order to get a chance at the bonus round, which right now the jackpot is at ten grand. So as we start, there are four celebrities, and I gotta connect those lines using those stars in order for me to open up those screens to show me a clue or the answer associated with a particular category. So right now the category is things. The returning champion gets to play, and oh by the way, you get this nifty piece of information called the, the word count. So we know it's three words and the category is a thing and now the reigning champion gets to pick stars on the board. So here's the question. Playing for that corner star, Michael, sits on his line. Groundhog Day occurs on the second of what winter month? February. And that would be right. Picking another star. The question what presidential hopeful was featured in a Newsweek cover story on his battle with the wimp factor? Bill Clinton, I uh, obviously disagree. And again, if I do this, this is for a screen. First screen. An incubulist collects what? Disagree. And already the first thing is cleared. If I know the answer, I can type it in. And no answer, so this goes to Steven. What color is the Incredible Hulk? Disagree, obviously. And I am going to do this, which is for both of those screens. The 32-story Pyramid Arena is for Sports and entertainment, okay, I'm sorry, but yeah, those are definitely firecrackers because it's June and people don't have any regards for people's, you know, quiet time around these days to record. So apologies if I'm not able to do it in an area that would have been quiet. So let me read this question because that was hella distracting. The 32-story Pyramid Arena used for sports and entertainment uh, events, is a part of what city skyline? Steven says Seattle. I'm pretty sure that's Vegas. And with that, I get two of those. I'm going to put ketchup and mustard. But that was just not fair. Those questions was hella easy. And I'm facing myself. <laughs> All right, so new category to place is three words. The stars have been assigned. And that's not fair. Why can't they just give it up to the challengers since I didn't even get a point? Anyway, picking here. Let's go droid. That would be correct. So, picking this, opening the first screen, yes. 
no. All right, so with that, first one. And by the way, have you figured out what game shows are basically hodgepodge to create this clusterfuck? Well, if you figured it out, one is uh, Hollywood Squares. I mean, stars, Hollywood, cheesy. Next, uh, you, you're talking about, you know, match game because you have a panel. Anyway... Picking this star. It's a great. Oh, no, finally. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, let's do this. Pretty sure it's five. I don't think it's six. All right, so I got that, finally. Opening up the second screen. Ooh. This already happened. I'm pretty sure it's not Calgary. All right, so the second screen. Um, I'm gonna, I, I don't know the answer. I'm gonna pick this star. To open the third screen, which I should have picked the other one. Who? I disagree. Oh. I was wrong. So now I will pick the same star. I disagree. And just like that. Oh, how the fuck is this a place? Alright, so thank God that's not it. I don't know what the hell this place... Oh, man, you get the same question? That's bonkers. Oh, why the fuck would I do that? And again... I'm playing as myself, so that's me being stupid, but not even realizing it. Or, I, or maybe that's just my way of saying I desperately want to win at this stupid game. Anyway, Tom, Tom, the Piper's son, still what animal before he ran? What the fuck is this? Steel? Who, did he write this correctly? <laughs> no offense, but dude, work on your spelling. All right, so this opens two screens, which I think is very important. I do not know. I disagree. And that's correct. Really? That's a place? I did not know that. All right, so each of us now has one game apiece. So, this is the rubber match. The rubber match decides who gets to go on to the bonus game for a shot at $10,000. So now, new screen, three words, category is slogan. The stars have been assigned. And now I'm going to select my stars, starting with this. Oh, I know this. No, disagree. I'm gonna go here. Opening the first monitor. 2004, NASA Cassini spacecraft finished a seven year journey by entering the orbit of what planet? I'm pretty sure that is Saturn. I agree. All right, so that opens the first screen. Slogan. I'll guess where are you? Open the second screen, which is not one of the names of Babar's children. Oh, that's not fair. I don't remember that show like that. I'll guess and say disagree. And I did. Yay. Opening. I'm going to put Where's the Beef? And I am the new champion. Yay. Get to play for 10 grand. Yay. Oh, 5 grand, actually. 
Well, 10 grand. I won 5 grand. So the bonus round is before and after. It's four wor uh, words. I get four spins to try to reveal as much pieces off the board. If I can figure out the puzzle off one chance, that is worth $10,000. So I have a chance to win 10 grand, and I got to spin to see where that little flashy thing is going to land. One thing about this is that as you continue to spin, if it lands on the same spot you were in earlier that you unlocked, uh, you don't get to spin again. You lose that turn. So I open the third screen. My second spin. I'm going to get out of the word love so we don't get a duplicate. And with the first screen. Spinning again. Get out of those. Ugh. I was afraid of. All right, spin again. Again, getting out of those two screens are important. Yes, I do. Okay. Now I can. I can try to solve it. If I solve it, that's worth $10,000. I can spin again, but if I do that, I have to give up $2,500. And I'm going to give it up. Because <laughs> I, I just don't know when it's four words. I'm playing for $7,500. Hoping that I don't land on any of the open screens. Oh, no! Oh, no. Ten seconds to think of an answer. What? I literally wrote that. I got robbed because I capitalized the M. That is messed up. <laughs> that is so, so messed up. That would have won me the jackpot. And you know what? I'm going to continue. I'll play. I'm not going to do another episode of this game, but I'm going to continue to play because normally I would just rage quit the shit and just be like, fuck this, I'm not playing this game show anymore, because that's absurd, and I'm already playing as myself. But, you know what? I'm going to calm myself down, because I got $2,500 in winnings, and I'll, I guess I'll return again and play for a $15,000 jackpot. Hopefully you'll see this too.